Hey crafty friends, welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. This is Robin and behind the camera, behind the computer is my husband Bill who's helping me out with comments and whatnot. So we are so happy to be a part of uh, Craft Around the Clock tonight and uh, we've got a great craft for you. Let me get this set up real quick and I will be right with you. So hop on, say hello. I'm gonna actually start the timer and let's get that going. Let's get this going. And I will tell you the keyword. There's Cheryl and Patty. Where did it go? Where did it go? Disabled activated publish there we go the keyword tonight is heart heart type in the word heart if you want to get entered into our weekly drawing that we do on Sunday evenings so hey Cheryl you're like our always first first one on you are so prompt hello Cynthia hello Margaret hello hello so keyword tonight is heart we are also since we are um, streaming into craft around the clock we like to do a little special giveaway not just our weekly giveaway but if we get 25 live viewers at any one time and we're like at about 17 if we get 25 live viewers at one time we will do a giveaway at the very end of this live so let me tell you how to get entered into that we take entries by comments because we want you to interact with us and comment with us. So if you are on Facebook and you are live, this is for you. So I have a timer that is set for a random amount of minutes. When that timer goes off, Bill's job is to look at his computer screen, his list of comments, and he is going to pick the last person that commented when the, when the timer went off. And it goes by his screen. It might look different than your screen. So he is, he is the final arbiter of entrance. So we'll only put you in one time. So if we, we might say we're going back to find a name. Anyway, so be commenting so that when this timer goes off, you can be the last one and we'll get you put it, a ticket in the drawing. And then we will have a drawing at the very end. And of course, we love it if you do all of this stuff if you give our page a heart, if you follow our page, Raincross Farms Makery. Okay, we are way past 25 already. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. Um, follow our page if you're not already, Raincross Farms Makery. And we also have a YouTube channel. We would love it if you would pop over there and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post up the same, the same videos, but we'd like to be able to go live on YouTube. So we're trying to bump up our followers. And we would love it if you would sprinkle our video out to your friends. Thanks, Cheryl, for sprinkling. Cynthia. Hello, Alicia. Hello, Cynthia. It doesn't look like Cynthia has responded, so I haven't tried that. Has, have again. anybody's? Uh, has everybody anybody? else seemed to be working, but Cynthia hasn't shown up for okay. me yet. Hey, okay. Cheryl, I'll give you a five Okay, star. so let, let me know if you type heart and you don't get a message to your messenger. Um, there could be... Could be something wrong. Okay, the keyword. Oh, you know what? Welcome I don't, to Purple Lily Decor. You know what it is? Is I don't have a keyword. What? I don't have a keyword, well, which means people popping up I them. know, which means anything they comment, <laughs> anything they comment would have gotten them. So. Oh, she might have already been. Yeah, in. you might have okay. already gotten one. Okay, now uh, it is. Now it is, is set up. Purple Lily Decor is from her. Business page. Hi, Purple Lily Decor. Um, we don't. We do. We love it if you're if you're watching us from your business page. However, keep in mind Facebook is kind of particular, and if you comment, if you if you make the comment heart, my bot won't send a message to another business page. So if you want to get entered into the weekly drawing by commenting heart, you'll need to go out and come back in on your personal page and make that comment and that will get you entered. So apparently business pages don't talk to business pages. Okay, let's get going because I'm on a time limit. Hey Alicia, how are my, ch my chickens are growing fast. I just took some video of them today so I hope to get a little video put together so you can see how, 
how much they've grown. Yes, they are getting big. Okay, Daisy got a message. Okay, oh, Cynthia good got the message. Okay. Good, good, good. Hey, Marcella. Hey, Alicia. So, Cynthia, you should have gotten it also. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do, I, I am not a boho type style person. Do you know what boho is? I think it's short for bohemian. It's kind of, I don't know, hippy dippy. I don't know. I don't know exactly how to define boho. Oh, there's the timer. Oh, well, then that would be Elaine Smith. Elaine Smith. You are our first entrant. Let me get your name down. I, I just, reset the timer. Just to be clear, when I type in congrats, it's just saying I'm yeah. entering you in. That's Con how yeah. I mark it. Congratulations means you're entered. It doesn't mean yeah. you have won. Or Jeanette. Hi, Jeanette. Yeah, hey, Jeanette. Okay, so we are going to use this heart, and we are going to style it up kind of boho style. So it's a first for me. Maybe you love it. Let me know in the comments what you, how you feel about boho. Is it you? Is it not you? Do you know somebody who likes boho? So we are going to use this transfer. I've used it before a couple of times because I love it. This is Mountain Heart, and I just love that design. So we are going to chalk this on, and then we're going to add some boho elements. Okay, so this is, this is a reusable surface. This is made out of... Um, the, the chalk brand boutique surface so I could whatever I put on this I could actually um, clean off and redo this before I get to chalking it though I am going to find my sharpie maybe maybe I might just use a pencil there's my sharpie I'm going, we're going to punch some holes in here because what, what is boho without fringe, right? And I could tape this on. Degenerating discs. Okay, oh, we will certainly be praying for you. Okay, so I'm going to to just make some marks about a half an inch apart. I know people that love boohoo. Boohoo? Yeah. Not boohoo, boho. <laughs> works for me. That works for me. Beth says she likes boho, but doesn't decorate with it. She just likes it. You just fun. like it. Well, I don't know, maybe, maybe the way I do it. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, so I'm just putting some dots about a half an inch apart because I'm going to punch some holes in this shape because we're going to use that for our fringe. Okay, so you can kind of see I've just got some little dots there and I'm going to use that as my guide for my punch. So I've got my power punch here. This will punch through quarter inch wood. So I'm going to do it upside down because if I do it this way, I can't see where I'm punching, but if I turn it upside this way, there's a little hole there and I can see exactly where I'm punching. So I'm going to line that up and punch that out and ta-da, I've got a hole. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're here to have fun, right? We did our banner last night, just have fun. Yes, you love that the shapes are reusable, so if you, if you make a mistake or you don't like it or you decide to change sometime down the line, you can do that simply and easily and not have to buy a whole new surface. All right, where did you get the punch? Okay, I sell the power punch in my online shop. So if you are interested in any of the supplies I use tonight, I have them in a cart link for you to take a look at. So when you type, to get access to that link, when you type heart in the comments, you will get a message to your messenger telling you, congratulations, you've been entered into our weekly drawing. And then down at the bottom of that, there 
will be some uh, some buttons you can choose from and if you pick the one that says product info click on that it will send you another little message and you can and, and another set of buttons and from that you'll pick I think it's called today's supplies you can click on that and, and there's a cart link of everything I'm going to use in here so you can purchase it straight from there or you can just browse okay let's see just a few more and then we're going to watch some paint dry because I know you love that oh yeah my favorite. Oh. So I replied for you. Cheryl there's, wanted to know how you're doing. Oh, yeah, it was Cheryl. How are you there's, doing today? There's the timer. I'm doing great. Okay, that was Deborah Wilkinson. Deborah Wilkinson. She got hers. Okay. She got mine. Got yours. Your message? No. Oh. Okay. So what was the what was the consensus about boho? Do we love it? Do yes, we tolerate like it? it? Do we? Okay. Deborah Wilkinson. Okay, got you entered. Okay, so I've got holes punched in the bottom here. That's where we're going to string our fringe through. And I am going to actually paint this board. So I put in, we have a set of colors pre-selected and this is the Bohemian Chic collection. So I stuck that in the cart link if you're interested, if you don't already have, um, you don't already have pastes of your own. And this is what come in that. The colors are Camel, Dune, Eucalyptus, Peachy Keen, Papaya, and Shimmer Harvest, which is a really pretty gold. So these are kind of Bohemian boho type colors. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do two colors tonight. We're going to do background color and we're going to do a design color. So the background color is going to be this dune. I'm just going to use my jars instead of the paste packets. But I'm going to start by turning this into chalk paint. It's currently chalk paste. So it, this is about the consistency of Greek yogurt or sour cream and I'm going to thin it down and we are going to make chalk paint out of it. So I'm just taking some, this is distilled water so I don't get any little germies growing. If I have any extra I can put it back in the container. To mix this says, up. My great granddaughter's nursery will be All in All right, she's due, due this, month. this month. Well, good. This might give you some, some ideas that you can do, that you can use. Get a little, a little something, something from grandma, great grandma. Okay, so I've got this thinned down. I'm going to use one of my sponges because this is a flat surface. So these are from the Dollar Tree. They're nail guard sponges. They get like six in a package. I'm just going to cut this in half because I don't need I don't need to use the whole thing. And I'm going to use this instead of a paintbrush because I like this. There's a lot less streaks and get something to put this down on. So I've got my watered down dune paste and I have my sponge that I'm going to use as a paintbrush. And I might need to do I might need to do two coats just to get it solid. I'm going to dry that, and then we're going to put a second coat on. What color pastes are coming out for fall? Awesome. You, you know, I, I don't have them all memorized. I ordered them. They should be here in, in a few days. Um, but yes, we've got some new uh, autumn slash winter paste colors coming out. That All of that is launching on July 11th. If you want to take a look at them, do that same thing as if you're looking for the cart link. 
click on product info and then click on the button that says preview autumn and you can see what the new paste colors are there is there is a saffron there is a pumpkin You know what? I'm just going to pull it you up didn't convey, You didn't convey that to me, so I have no idea. So I have a question for my own learning. Okay? Yes. Now, there's so many of these colors are earthy, which I totally yes. agree they are. which is boho. Are boho strictly earthy colors? I think, I think boho, I kind of think boho are the earthy colors. Okay. Oh. Cherry. They're coming out with cherry, which is a bright, bright, bright red. Moss, which I'm going to love. It, it, it's a little like pesto. Okay, there's my timer. That was your timer? Uh-huh. Oh my goodness, it was Margaret. Margaret! Saying, saffron is great for fall. Okay. So, there is cherry, moss, hay pumpkin, saffron, and it was we had it last year it was temporary they're bringing back glow in the dark Woohoo! so i'm going to put a second coat on here Look a little more solid so those are the new colors i don't have them to show you yet soon soon and very soon Here's Amy Joe. Hi, Amy. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you're done with when you're done with the sponge, put it in water, because if that if that paste dries on the sponge, you won't ever get it softened again, and you won't be able to use the sponge again. But if you immediately put it in water, keep it keep it wet, and rinse it out real good afterwards, you can use those you can use those over and over again. Okay, let me dry this second layer, and then we will we will do our design. Yes, about, moss is a pretty color too. Yes. About the glow in the dark might be fun for Halloween. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's when it came out. It came out this time last year, but it was it was only for a short time. And they brought they're bringing it back for this season again. Okay, so I've got my dune colored background. Okay. I reset, I reset. Make sure that's dry. And then what I'm going to do before I put this transfer down, because this is a sticky back transfer, I am going to wax. I'm going to wax this surface so that the sticky doesn't pull up that paint I just put down. Because it, it hasn't had a chance to cure to that surface. So I don't want to pull up that paint. Okay, let me, let me clean up here. Let me put my dune away. That says, ooh, glow in the dark, I have ideas. Ooh, yes, <laughs> you should have ideas. I'm gonna do one thing first here. Turn this off. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to wax this. I'm going to get my surface wax. This is just clear paste wax. I, this is also in my shop. It's in that little cart link if you are interested. And my little applicator. And I am just going to lightly, I don't want a lot of wax on this. Too much wax and my paste won't be able to lay down on it. I have dog hair or something. So I've got, I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to kind of buff off as much of that wax as I can. Put that back in. Got 
switch over. Can you make any color glow in the dark with it? Um, you know, I didn't play around with it too much, but I know people who did. It's, it's of course, not as vivid, um, but you can mix it into other colors, and it will, it will help them glow. I will tell you, it's not a long-lasting glow. It's like uh, less than a minute in the dark, and then, and then the glow is gone. And then you can recharge it with more light. It doesn't last a long time, but short bursts of time works good. Okay, so I've got my Dune surface painted, waxed. I'm going to get my transfer, and I'm going to fuzz it also. So I'm going to put just a layer of fuzz or lint on it. And... That aside. Okay, sticky back, reusable, can reuse these 10 to 12 times. That's guaranteed by the company, but I know if I clean them up quickly and I do a good job, I know I can, this, this will last me 20 or more uses. Okay, there was the timer again. Who was my name? Oh, that was your last one. That's Becca. Becca May. Maggie, I can't tell if that's an I or an L. Becca, Becca, Maggie, Maggie. Don't know. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm, I apologize I. if I'm butchering it. Does okay. that help you? Honey? There you go. It's an I. Okay, Becca, Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. I don't know. Okay, a little bit of fuzz again, just so I'm not pulling up the paint. And I'm going to center this on my board. Now I have done this in multiple colors and it looks gorgeous. Do I have it up? I don't know what I did with it. Oh, I redid it. I redid it for my club transfer on another reusable surface. Okay, I've got a piece of chunky stuff right there. So I'm pushing this down to make sure it's all adhered and there's no lumps and bumps or air bubbles and I'm going to chalk this in shimmer harvest because I don't know if boho likes glitter but boho is about to meet glitter muggy 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 okay there we go so it's not an ah it's an uh okay so you have to fuzz every time you use one before it depends um, if, if it's, if you've used it several times, it's automatically a little less sticky. So you might, depending on your surface, if, if I put it on a painted surface, I'm always going to fuzz it. Maybe not as many times if it's an older transfer that I have used several times, but especially if it's new, I'm going to put a lot of fuzz on it. Some things you might not need to fuzz. Okay, so here is my shimmer. Harvest, very pretty gold color, and I'm just going all over this. Super easy when you just do one color. And I'm just pushing that paste through the silk screen, making sure I've got it everywhere. I'm scraping off the excess, putting it back in my jar because I can reuse that. Okay, let's see how we did. I'm going to peel this off. Ooh, very boho-y. Very boho-y. I'm going to put this down on a Dollar Tree dish drying mat. And I will, hopefully I'll have enough time I can show you how we clean those up. And here is, isn't that pretty? Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, let me give it a quick dry so I don't smudge it. And then we'll get to work on our fringe. So I did this, I did this trick yesterday with, with my uh, Let's Have Fun banner. Instead of using ribbon or rope or jute or anything for little decorations, I used actual fabric, 100% cotton fabric, and it's super easy to turn those into ribbons. 
Let me just make sure this is dry. Because I don't want to smudge it. Oh, love the color. Perfect for my son's upcoming wedding. Yes. What is my favorite season? Um, it depends on what time of year it is. Right now, fall is my favorite season because I'm in the middle of summer and I can't wait for it to cool off. So I'm really looking forward to fall and once fall gets here, I just love it. Then in the middle of winter when I'm freezing cold, I can't wait for spring. So it's, it's a toss up between fall and spring and it depends on where we are in the year. So right now my favorite, my favorite deck, favorite season is fall. My favorite season to decorate is fall because I love those fall colors. Okay, I think that's dry. Let me put my lid on this and let me get to ripping some ribbons. So I've got some leftover scraps from a, I think it was a quilt I made and I'm going to find, I'm going to find my timer. Okay. Who was my, who oh, was your Okay. And I'm going to take a break and get a drink. What? I'm going to take a break and get a drink. Okay. So I've got, I've got a, a variety of colors. I have yellow, I have orange. I have a deeper orange and I have this gold, um, maybe not the most natural boho colors, but I did kind of want it to brighten it up a little bit. So Alana comes in late and then she throws this comment up. She says, wait, you have another wedding coming up? No, not us. No. <laughs> no. Goodness. No. Okay, so I'm just going to snip this at about half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. And I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do four of them. So I've just snipped it like this. Some of you have done this before and this is old news. And I'm going to go along the selvage and I'm just going to rip it. Rip it good. Okay, and so I've got it rips, it rips straight, it has to be 100% cotton. You can't do this with anything that has polyester or anything in it. And it, it kind of frays the edges just a bit. So let's do another one. There we go, super easy, doesn't take a lot of elbow grease. Okay, so I've got four out of that color. Let's get, okay. Let's do, let's square off this edge and then we will do one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this raggedy edge. I can use that for something else though. And I have my, just my little snips. I've just got it started and I'm going to rip, rip, and you'll get some little threads that you can just pull off. Okay, I've got my yellow. Let's go to my orange. Again, I'm going to do a starter and then I'm going to do one, two, three. <laughs> Becca says, I love ripping fabric. It's therapeutic. It is. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, Alicia, this is cotton fabric. This is cotton, 100% cotton. So, which is, which is great because if you go to a fabric store or even like Walmart, they will sell what are called um, fat quarters. That works perfect for this. They, they're they just like basically a quarter of a yard of, usually it's 100% cotton fabric. Oh, I gotta grab it. And you can just pick out a few or you can just get yourself quarter of a yard, a couple inches of, a couple of inches of fabric. Okay, and this one I think, okay. one, 
two, three, four. Okay, so I've got four different colors, and I think what I'm going to do is arrange them. I'm going to go light to dark, outside to in. Okay, so I've got this. I can make these really long if I want. I'm just going to make these kind of short. Okay. So I'm going to go down the top and I'm going to take that fold and pull that through. I could just tie it if I wanted to. If you didn't want to, um, if you didn't want to punch the holes, you could just glue these on the back. So like that, I'm going to do another one in that color. How am I doing on time? I'm Becca doing... says she's still loving the way that banner turned out. Thank you. I love it too. That was kind of my um, my phrase of the month or the year or, or whatever. Just have fun. Somebody, two people gave me that advice yesterday. So we are just here having fun with... Um, and Deborah says nice ball colors. Thank you. Okay, that was my timer. That was your timer? I'm going to back up a couple here. I'm going to back up a bunch. Oh okay. my. Okay, Cheryl. Looks like you're the last one in there, Cheryl. Cheryl Mesh. Okay, let me get this going. Let me get Cheryl's name on. I wondered why they call it fat quarters. Yes. It's like a half a yard, but then they cut it in half. So it's, I don't know if that makes any sense. It's basically 18 by 20 inches or so, 18 by 18, 18 by 20 little square. Becca said, did you use a crocodile to do the hole? No, I didn't. I used something similar, but something a lot more handy. This is my power punch, which is, which works just as well as a crocodile. So it makes a little, I think that's a quarter inch hole. I sell that in my shop switch over to orange, get rid of some threads. Yes, and honestly, the fat quarters are not cheaper. If you if you calculated it by square inch, they are not cheaper, but they they're at a size they come in a a good size to work with. And you don't have to go up and get it cut at the counter. Probably you, you can't purchase that exact size by the yard. You'd have to buy double that amount. Okay, so how we doing? Looking good? Is it looking boho? Okay, let's use our <laughs> deep orange ones. Timer. Who has fabric? <laughs> yeah, I I do. You have you have a uh, mask fabric left over. I don't. I, this was I used for for a quilt, but I do have I do have leftover mask fabric, and I did use fat quarters for that. just never thought about it. <laughs> How are you doing, Beth? I saw you, you looked like you were um, 
home? Were, were you home from? Yeah, you were home from your from your procedure. You doing good? Did they give you enough of the good pain meds? It, looking boho, good. That's what I was hoping for. Now I could do all one color. I did kind of want it to be kind of like a little ombre look. I could have I could have put holes up higher. I didn't want that many of them. So now I'm going to reverse this. Push that through. If it doesn't want to go through, I'm going to poke it with my little tool. Hi. Thanks. Thanks, Cynthia. I hope it I'm hoping for a good outcome. And I'm hoping there's somebody in my town that likes boho when I put this up in my craft booth. Somebody likes boho enough to buy it. Four more. So how many of you are going to start making ribbons out of fabric? They look very, they look very farmhousey. I'm hoping they look a little boho here. Okay. Marcella Robinson. Marcella Robinson gets her name on a ticket. What did I do with my pen? There it is. I thought you were going to say get a name on a chicken. Uh, what? Yes, get your, get your name on a chicken. Yes, she did, and you won, Marcella. No, you didn't win. Not win. You, you, you got, got you win. got an entry. You are entered to win. Gotta be careful what I say around you here. You do. You do. I love fabric ribbons, and sometimes if you just use um, what's it called, muslin, muslin, just just kind of an, a, a pretty off white. Or you can just use white and you can tea stain things. That looks a pretty cool effect too. Two more. Get that. Okay, so again, if you're interested in any of these supplies that I used, the heart shape, the transfer that I used, the chalk paste that I used, the tools that I used, the power punch is in there. You can take a look. When you comment, when you comment heart, unless you were at the very beginning and, and it, it took any comment and sent you the message, it'll send a message to your messenger letting you know you're entered into our weekly drawing. There we go. What do you think? Are we boho? Does that look boho? And then I'll, I'll glue on a little hanger on the back, or I might even just punch a little punch little holes at the top and make a hanger. And there's my cute little boho mountain heart. Okay, you raise quails. Cool. Okay, I have a couple extra minutes. So I'm going to show you how I clean this. Super easy. If I was upstairs near my sink, I would wash this out in my sink. A, a little bit easier but I'm not near my sink so I'm just going to take my spray bottle this can just be plain water tap water is fine for cleaning and then I'm going to start I like to start with a Swedish dishcloth and or you could use a paper towel and I get it damp and wring it out and then I use this to get that top layer of paste off this isn't this isn't thorough cleaning this is just getting me started okay so i get i get the first layer that heavy layer of paste off you can kind of see it's glittering here on my on my thing now i'm going to switch over to my board eraser which is like you would buy it if you were anywhere near me awesome um, I'm going to use my board eraser. It's um, like a magic eraser. There are no chemicals in this. I just got it wet, wring it out, 
and this goes in and grabs that paste from out of the screen, which is what we have to get clean. We have to get that silk screen clean. So I'm going to go over front. I can still see there's some paste, so that tells me it's most likely on the back. So I turn it over to the sticky side, spray it again. Same thing with the board eraser. You don't have to scrub really hard, but you just want it to go over and catch that paste from out of the screen. You're welcome, Alicia. Okay. Now, once I can see that the screen is clean, I don't know if you can see that, the screen doesn't have any paste in it. There might be staining on this green part. That's okay, that's just because our pastes have a lot of pigment in them and they will stain that plastic but my screen is clear. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna let that air dry. And then when it's dry, I'm gonna put it back on its backer sheet and back on its little, in its little plastic sleeve. And it's ready to go another 10, 12, 20 or more times. How long have you sold? How long have I sold chalk? Um, I am coming up, we are coming up on our second anniversary of going live. So we've been seriously in the business for about two years. Now my craft, my craft booth is only one month old and that's in a crafter's mall in town. Okay, there is my last timer. Well, I gotta back up again here. Lisa, Lisa. oh, well, look at there. There's Beth way back up there. Beth, you got it. Beth. Beth Turner, Beth Hillis Turner. I knew her both names. Okay, got you in there. And let me show you this one more time. This is our Mountain Heart Transfer. I love it. I've done it in different colors and it looks gorgeous. And it also looks so pretty in just this single, single color on this background. And I just punched holes and threaded in some fabric ribbons. I could have done them longer, but I don't. I didn't want it to look like this big, huge thing. But anyway, Boho Mountain Heart, thanks so much for joining me and hanging out with us for the last 45 minutes. Um, how about we do a drawing? I think we will pull two winners from my thing, and I and I checked and make sure I didn't have any of last week's tickets in there. Okay. Um, 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 um. Okay. Our first winner is Becca McGee. Is that how I say it? Did I? Yeah. McGee. Is it G or G? I I don't know. I lost the pronunciation. I just I know it's not Ma. It's Ma McGee. I don't know. Anyway, Becca McGee. I will be reaching out to you. I'll send you a message on your messenger to get a little more information so I can get the perfect happy mail ready for you. So be looking for that. You don't have to respond to it tonight. I know some of you, it's bedtime. You're already in bed. Um, but w whenever you get a chance, respond. go look for my message. It'll be from Raincross Farms Makery. And let me know. So I'll be reaching out for you. And, okay, McGee, yay, okay, and our second winner is Beth Hillis Turner, ah. Beth Turner, woohoo, so I'll be reaching out to Beth and Becca, congratulations ladies, thanks everyone, all of you, if you commented, if you commented heart, you got an entry into my weekly drawing. So come check back on us Sunday night and see if you're a winner. You don't have to be present to win. I'll reach out to you. But you, every time we go live, we give you a keyword. You get a new entry into our weekly drawing. So you might get three or four or five chances to win. So keep following us and all that good stuff. So thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks for your support. We want to remind you to just have fun and do something creative every day. <coughs> and we will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.